Hi there, I'm Tanya Ryman. I'm the author of The Power of Body Language. We're here on the streets of Manhattan today because what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out some people and show you the right way to do things and perhaps some of the wrong ways to do things. One of the most interesting facets of body language is just what you can read from one single body part. So what do I mean by that? Well, when you're talking to someone, one of the first things you want to do is look at their feet. So if I'm talking to you straight on, yet my feet are pointed this way, you need to recognize that I'm on my way out. I'm not interested in what you have to say. I'm looking to move. So one of the things you always want to remember is the feet point to where their body wants to go. So this is a power position and what that woman is demonstrating is that she feels good about herself. She's in what's known as a figure four, which is a position that takes up more space than the average seating space. Her arms are pulled back saying, I don't feel vulnerable, I'm powerful. One of the things that's interesting about men is they're always telling you unconsciously how sexual they are. So if you're walking towards a man and he has his hands in his pockets, you know what he's doing? He's trying to point out his best assets. So, as you see these people walking through the streets, look at what their hands are doing. Are their hands pointed to their most significant areas? Because if they are, they're sending you a very strong message. You know, it's funny, I get asked all the time, why is it that I have to work so much harder to get a man's attention than they do to get my attention? Well, the truth is that women are much better at picking up body language clues than men are. For an example, if I'm trying to flirt with a man, I need to make eye contact with him three times to let him know that I'm really interested in him. So one of the things you could do as a woman is you can make eye contact, look down, look back up, look down again, and finally, that third time of making eye contact with that man, he's gonna get the hint. If you don't do it that way, ladies, they're never gonna get the hint. How often are people surprised at what I tell them? Usually, they're shocked. Usually, people have no idea how they come across. And the interesting thing is, once you point out a simple clue to them, they suddenly go, oh my goodness, is it as if they had their aha moment. And their aha moment can change them forever. So what you're watching is the intimate zone space dance. And what do I mean by that? You've just witnessed a woman and a man having a conversation. The woman isn't really that comfortable with the gentleman, but he doesn't recognize it. So he takes a step forward. And what does she do? She takes a step back. He's so ignorant, doesn't get it. He takes another step forward. Finally, she takes another step back. And you could see that these two will never be in rapport because he doesn't understand the space difference. So what you're seeing here is a couple holding hands. What's interesting about this is who is the more powerful of the two? Whose hand was on top? It was the man's hand. And if you watch people who hold hands, you'll notice typically the man does hold his hand on the top. And that's his way of demonstrating that he's the powerful one in the relationship. You know, what you need to realize is that every single thing says something about you. The way you hold your posture, the way you wear your makeup, the way you wear your hair. Do you have tattoos everywhere? Where are your piercings? Are your shoes nice and polished? Is your briefcase in good shape? Is your suit ironed? Do you look good? Every single thing about you makes a statement. What you want to make sure is it's making the statement that you're happy with. 